Nah, video. Improvised session yet again. I have nothing to do. We are going to do some stuff I had lying around. Okay. Um, some people have seen this problem before here on my blackboard a little bit. Okay, in, in some videos. I was trying around before but didn't really go into it in much detail. Someone sent this to me via Facebook. It's about this function right here. Okay, this uh, we want to find functions that go from the positive and negative integers to the positive and negative integers that satisfy this formula right here, a and b, obviously, are from the positive and negative integers. I believe it's some competitive problem, I don't know, you will find the details somewhere in the description or so. But before we get into the main video, I would like to thank today's sponsor, SignX, created by the same people as HiPDF and PDFNN Pro. Thanks for sponsoring this video, here are some details. The wonderful people at Wondershare just now released their new document sign app, SignX, and gave me the chance to try it out as one of the first people. I, as a YouTube business, have a lot of documents to sign and send around, so this really benefits my workflow right now. SignX is a browser-based app that works on both Windows and Mac that basically allows you to centralize the collection of signatures. You upload documents that need to be signed by different parties and send it around in bulk via email. Then the people that need to sign receive a request and can then go to the SignX app to place their signatures under the desired documents. The site is extremely well structured and easy to handle and understand, which is a huge plus for me. SignX makes it really comfortable to communicate about signatures with other individuals and I definitely have a great time using it right now. So if this feels like it's something for you, make sure to check out the link at the top of the description with it. You can check it out for completely free. Five signatures for completely free. Just sign up with your emails, you can sign five documents and that's cool. If you want to sign even more documents, okay, if you're a business person for example, then make sure to check out the second link at the top of the description with it. You can get 30% off a premium subscription. So try it out, support the channel this way and now for the improvised session. Like I said, I have tried around a bit before. Um, I was just trying before to um, solve some systems of equations here and there. So um, yeah, let us give it a shot. So, so solving systems of equation didn't really go too far. Oh, okay, didn't go too well. But what I thought about is um, sometimes solutions to this actually correspond to a function being a homomorphism. So if a function is a homomorphism, for example, with respect to the addition, then, um, then f of a plus b is the same as f of a plus f of b. In the best case scenario, this is going to give us all the functions that satisfy this relationship right here. In the worst case, doesn't even work out. <laughs> Not even a little bit, okay? so. Um, if we were to make use of this property and I, I mean if we were to make use of this, if we uh, suppose that this thing is a homomorphism, this function, then we are going to get 2 f of a, I hope you can see where this comes from, this is f of a plus a, this is the same as f of a plus f of a, since it's a homomorphism, this is 2 f of a plus 2 f of b being equal to, this is going to give us f of f of a plus f of b which is the same as f of f of a plus f of f of b okay since we are going to have a homomorphism okay um, does this bring us anywhere what we can also do is for simplification purposes really doesn't matter let's say that a is the same as b okay a is the same as b, then we are going to get this is 4 f of a is equal to 2 f of f of a. 2 and 4 is going to cancel out, okay. 2 is not equal to 0, it's the successor of 1, so it's not equal to 0, so we can divide both sides by it. Meaning overall f of a is just the element of the positive or negative integers. Meaning we can use it as something that we plug into f yet again. Meaning this thing is just some kind of x value for example. Meaning overall that f of x is thus equal to 
2 times x. If we suppose that this is a homomorphism, then this does work out. The thing is, if we were to plug in actual numbers, would this work out? I'm not certain about that. So let's say um, a is, let's, let's just try it out. Um, a is 1 and b is equal to 2. We are going to get f of 2 plus um, 2 f of 2 is equal to f of f of 3 but f of 3 or f of 2 in general is going to give us um, this is just 4 okay pl plugging the 2 into here 4 plus 8 is equal to this is 12 is equal to okay f of 3 is 6 yeah and then okay this is going to give us 12 f of 3 is going to give us 6 then f of 6 is 12 okay does work out does it work out for each and every value i mean if we plug in negative integers I don't believe that if you have a homomorphism that this is already the general solution to this problem. Um, also, I don't know if there are any um, not continuous solutions to this problem. So when plugging in numbers into here, letting a be equal to b, we, we always assume that this function is continuous because we are going to take the limit as, as b approaches a, for example. Okay, so I don't know if there are solutions that are not continuous. Let's see. Um, we can take a different approach here. Like I said before, I have tried solving stuff before using systems of equations. I mean, it's always a good call if we plug in zero in some way. Let's just say a is equal to zero. So um, if this thing is a homomorphism, then this is already the best solution we can get. I, I believe, okay. It should be one valid solution, but I don't know if this is the set of all solutions basically this gives us a set of all solutions let's say a is equal to zero then we are going to get f of zero plus two f of b is equal to f of f of b zero plus b is just b um, same situation as before, f of b is a positive or negative integer, so this is our x value basically. We are going to get f of 0 plus 2x is equal to f of x. Ah, um, yes, so we have this factor of 2x in here, but this thing is the solution to some kind of initial value problem at 0. I suppose, so what what I think is the case here is that our f of x in general looks like this, 2x plus some arbitrary constant c in some way. Okay, so we can plug in any c and that would work out. f of 0, just a solution to an initial value problem in some way. But we have to justify this a bit more that this is the case. So. Assuming that this is a homomorphism is just a special case as it seems. Mm, can we work more from here? Ah, um, I'm, I'm having kind of a weird idea. Let us subtract f of 0 from both sides. Um, 2x is f of x minus f of 0. Once again, we are assuming that everything is continuous. I hope you can see something. This thing right here is just some f of z, for example, evaluated from 0 to x. Okay, what, what I'm seeing here, I'm, I'm talking about initial value problems. And when I talk about initial value problems, I immediately think of integrals or differential equations. I, I mean, integrals are just differential equations, basically. Um, exactly. Then this thing right here is just the integral from 0 to x of, well, some f prime 
of z dz, okay? If this thing is differentiable, then it's also uh, continuous and thus it's integrable. Now we are going to take the derivative with respect to x on both sides. This is going to give us two by the fundamental theorem of calculus, okay? This is just a regular derivative in one dimension. I just don't want to write, oh, d dx, okay, this is just weird. So from zero to x, f prime of z dz. So by the fundamental theorem of calculus, this is going to give us f prime at the spot x, because we are differentiating this, okay? It's kind of like with the Leibniz rule for integration, basically. So this is going to give us f prime of x. Now f prime of x is equal to 2 if we were to integrate both sides indefinitely, okay? f prime of x integrated with respect to x is going to give us f of x, which is just the integral of this thing. So 2x plus some arbitrary constant c. Yes, exactly, Gucci. So my, my initial thought here was correct. This is probably the, the function that, that, that is generalized. So, so this is the general solution to this problem. Um, what I'm wondering, so, so the homomorphism is a special case. What I'm wondering is if we can do fundamental theorem of calculus and integration, then we probably also can do differentiation. Let us go for the difference quotient. At first I'm going to I'm going to assume um, x goes to some x plus h, okay, on our e equation that we have here. Then f of x plus h is equal to f of 0 plus 2x plus 2h. If we were to subtract this equation from this one, we are going to have f of x plus h minus f of x is equal to f naught is a constant. It's going to vanish. 2x is also going to vanish. So we are going to get 2h. Now we are going to assume that our h is not equal to 0. Okay, we want it to be non-zero, meaning we can divide both sides by it. This is going to vanish. Now we have the difference quotient being equal to 2. Now we are going to take the limit as h approaches 0 on both sides. I'm going to denote it by capital L. The limit of a constant is just a constant in itself. And this thing on the other hand is simply the derivative of our f. Meaning f prime of x is equal to 2. Meaning if we were to integrate this we are going to get what we had here. Yeah, it's exactly the same thing as before. So it really doesn't matter how you do it. I mean, assuming a homomorphism, now I have actually scratched my chalkboard, right? No, oh, M my wedding ring is trying to destroy my, my chalkboard, my, my marriage. Um, yeah, doesn't matter how you do it. Assuming that it is a homomorphism just gives you one of infinitely many solutions, namely the solution when c is equal to zero, but, but it's a good call. I mean, if you only need one solution, then, then yeah, feel, feel free to use the property that it's a homomorphism. But other than that, yeah, I, I think we are good on this one. Uh, I will see later if this checks out, so plugging in some numbers and if this right here actually works. And yeah, thank guys for watching. I was just um, I was just a bit confused because I was choosing numbers here that exactly worked for this homomorphism case. There should be other numbers where this doesn't work out. Never mind, doesn't matter. If you did enjoy this improvised session, then please like, subscribe, recommend channel if you like. Don't forget to check out Sign X today. You can support the channel by just trying it out. Each and every one of us has some documents to sign, especially in this time of Corona and shit, where you can't really go to anyone's place and sign documents um, personally. So, so try it out. Maybe it's something for you to support the channel this way. And yeah, you can also support the channel by buying those t-shirts, blah, blah, blah. Whatever you do, I thank you guys for watching. Until the next video, have a flammable day. Ciao!